afternoon, brethren. As most of you are aware, the work in Kafue started in October 2000 and became autonomous last year, 2009, on 5th July, with the ordination of its first elder, Mr. Seke Lupunga. Now, apart from the regular services and ministers of the church, we had some special activities in the course of the year. So let me just go through some of these activities. On the 7th of March, the couples had a dinner at which the responsibilities of a couple to each other and their immediate families was the subject. In the same month, on 12th March, the youths of our church had an opportunity to distribute evangelistic tracts to other young people in Kafiwe town. And in the same month, we continued with our monthly outreach efforts through the book table, where apart from selling books, we also used the opportunity to distribute tracts, the church brochure, and other evangelistic literature. The following month in April, the ladies held an evangelistic luncheon at which the gospel was faithfully proclaimed. And then the following month, the men were not to be left out. They held an evangelistic bride at which our Pastor Tole was the guest speaker. In the following month of May, the youths again had an evangelistic effort at Navoy Secondary School through our annual careers day. In the same month, we had uh, the book table at the district agriculture show where we were urged uh, to open up a permanent place where people could easily come and find these books and Bibles at affordable prices. And as a way of finally preparing the church for autonomy, we had a seminar on 13th June with Reverend Nyerenda on the relationship between the church and its elders. Apart from the ordination of the church's first elder, as I've said already, Mr. Seke Lupunga, the church resolved to call me as its first resident pastor. Subsequently, my ordination was conducted by the elders from KBC, followed by a fellowship meal on 30th August, 2009. And as a way of fostering fellowship among church members, we had an informal time of interaction in October, culminating in a lunchtime meal uh, together. Towards the end of the year, some members undertook an evangelistic visit to one of the orphanages in Kafiwe. Apart from sharing the gospel and a few material items, we had an opportunity to interact with the young people at this orphanage on a one-to-one -one basis. We also, during the course of the year, had a baptismal class, though, unfortunately, only one candidate was finally baptized. The others are due for baptism uh, this year. And as a way of reaching out to the community, uh, we do conduct a one-year certificate course in preschool teaching under the Zambia Preschool Association. Last year, we had five students. And lastly, some prayer requests. Pray for guidance as we seek to have a diaconate by the middle of this year, now that the church is autonomous. Number two, for improved attendance at our vernacular service in Shimabala. Three, fruit from all our evangelistic efforts in the course of the year. Four, that we may complete the plumbing works scheduled for this year on the ablution block. And five, increased enrollment in our preschool teachers' college. And lastly, increased giving in terms of tithes and offerings from uh, the members. And lastly, 
I would like to thank you, brethren, here for having been so supportive of the, of the work and indeed for personally supporting my family. This has been both a challenge and an encouragement to us in Kafiu. Oh,